Some people might think a Deus one will find everything a Deus two will. Well, I'm gonna do a little test here and show y'all a little something here. I've been hunting, you know, some modern trash sites. I've got this thing in the Deus Fast program, okay? It's set up exactly. Reactivity, tone break, three tone. I've got a Deus two sitting right over there. We're gonna break it out here, okay? Reactivity on this machine is set at 2.5. There's a piece of foil right there elevated above a clad dime. Okay. Now, this is 17.606 kilohertz. Sensitivity's gonna be 90 on both these machines. No tricks, okay? I don't do tricks. But I am gonna do this demonstration to show you the strength of that Deus 2 over this Deus 1 in modern trash, okay? So here we go. Now listen close now. There's nothing telling me totally that that dime is there, okay? I'm sweeping. Now, I'm not going to baby the call, you know, like I know where the dime is. I'm a sweeping, okay? All right. 18 kilohertz was a no-go. Now we're down here to 11.7 kilohertz. I still don't hear anything telling me a, you know, a high conductor could exist, okay? Now we're going down to 7.8 kilohertz. I still don't hear anything. 4 kilohertz. Oh, I get it with 4 kilohertz. See that? Okay, so if I was going to hit that dime coming like this right here, I have to be in 4 kilohertz. But 4 kilohertz ain't the best separator when it comes to iron with this machine, uh, when it gets around certain level of conductors, okay? You hear that? Hey, right, see there? So 4 kilohertz, I can find that dime, you know, it get me to maybe turn on the target like this. Then I'm like, oh, boy, look at there, boys. 89 in the meter. I believe I'll dig it. I'm going to turn this camera off and bring this old Deus 2 over here. Deus 2 set up the same way. Tone break at 80. I had the highest uh, BS set to the highest frequency, just like that Deus 1. No tricks. 2.5 reactivity. And I've got the audio response still set at 4 on this machine, too. <laughs> You hear that? Now, this is Square Tones, and I'm showing this for a reason. On this test right here, Square Tones does a better job on this machine versus PWM Tones, okay? That's another little tip for you. Listen to that. You hear that? Listen. I'm hearing something there, you know, that's telling me, wait a minute, I got... So I hear a difference, you know, I can tell there's something, it's like, well, what's making that wrecking? If I come over here, it's going to get me turned around. Now, I'm not even saying the fast program is gives the best results on this test with this machine, okay? Because I believe this fast program uses a, a higher frequency. But even using this program on this machine right here on that test right there, it's Night and day difference over the DS1. Now, you're running 4 kilohertz on that DS1. Oh, yeah. But see, I'm running this program right here where I can see around iron, low conductors, high conductors. I can see around modern trash somewhat. Okay. So now you, uh, you know, this is more universal. You remember what MindLab said about obsolete and single frequency detectors? Well, this is a little bit about what they're talking about, okay? Winds, winds are getting up out here on me. So you're more universally set running multi-frequency on this machine, okay? It's, uh, it's solving more equations versus a single frequency or a single frequency multiple select 
frequency detector, okay? It's just something for you to think about now. This thing's a monster around modern trash, okay? I done seen it. It's a, mo it's a monster in iron, too. I hope you enjoyed.